Hi and very good morning. Good morning. Sir. Good morning. Okay. Yeah. Ah, uh, ah, uh, 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 students, please be on um, mute. Let's start with this. Sir, full noise from your side, sir. Sorry, sorry, noise from my no. So, uh, guys, can you please uh, go on mute? Guys, can you please? Uh... Okay, everyone, go on mute. Okay, everyone, go on mute. Uh, uh, I will quickly introduce myself. Uh, okay, myself Vishwa. Um, I will be dealing with your uh, C sharp uh, training. So, uh, regarding my training experience, I'm almost having uh, some five years of training experience. Almost some two thousand people trained from me on Darknet. Okay, so this is about uh, my training experience. Uh, regarding my real time experience, I'm having seven years of. Uh, Seven plus years of uh, real time Seven experience. Of, uh, real so currently, I am working in currently one of the I'm MNC. Uh, so, uh, that is one of the India's most successful uh, company and India's most loud company. Okay. So regarding my roles and responsibilities, like currently in that company, I am working as a technical lead in one of the projects. Okay, so uh, I'm working as a technical lead uh, for one of the project. So uh, and uh, uh, skill set uh, I deal with like uh, you know dot net dot net MVC web API Angular JS related, and uh, also uh, I deal with dot uh, net core related things and all. Okay, so these all uh, these are all the things I will deal with. So uh, coming to our uh, course content, uh, let's uh, quickly see. Okay, so I will share my screen. Okay, are you guys able to see my screen? There's someone uh, just ping in the chat. Are visible, sir? Sorry. Uh, Hari Prasad, are you able to see our screen? Screen visible, sir. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, just we will discuss about uh, what is our course content and what is our action plan uh, for our next. Uh, 
few months or few days so that uh, so uh, then uh, we'll just see why dot net and uh, why we are going for dot net everything okay so uh, here uh, we will discuss about dot net core full stack uh, for this uh, next couple of days okay dot net core full stack uh, okay see uh, and after that what is our action plan how we will learn and uh, uh, why we are going for dot net everything we will see okay so first we will see what is dot net full stack development so so nowadays if you people are going for uh, if you people are going for some interviews or if you people are uh, so I'm, i mean if you people see any job postings from uh, any job sites like now career or something so everywhere they are asking for dot net full stack dot net full stack dot net full stack are not only dot net full stack uh, they are some people are asking for java full stack some people are asking for uh, python full stack some people are asking for xyz full stack so uh, what is this full stack okay let me explain so for example uh, <clears throat> nowadays we are working in uh, so many companies and uh, you know uh, in golden days the companies were uh, the number of companies was uh, very much low those days but nowadays what is happening so we are having so many companies uh, so some people are saying we are new startup some people are saying we are i mean some people are saying like uh, uh, so we are service based companies some people are saying product based companies but see uh, all the companies will have some employees okay so when people are working in this uh, mncs or companies so and so companies whatever that may be small or bigger whatever it may be so what will happen like people will work on few projects okay so few projects means see uh, if you divide the project into a couple of ways or something then the project will be like ui database and you know like uh, services or business logic or application developers okay so they are these are all the different types of uh, developers we have so ui ui means user interface what is user interface usually uh, which uh, whichever uh, the user will interact see for example if you take www.facebook.com as an example okay so when you open this facebook.com so this is what the user interface so why because the user can interact with this one so whenever user enters uh, his uh, credentials so if you click on login if it is uh, valid credentials then it will uh, redirect to the home page okay for example this is what user interface so uh, fine that is fine see Uh, i will ask some questions like see for example when user is entering is uh, correct username and correct password then what is happening whenever you are clicking on login it is going to home page now uh, in the same way when user enters wrong username and correct password so here what user is entering wrong username here what he is entering correct password if you click on uh, login then what will happen again it will throw the exception or it will throw the error okay so see uh, uh, i will get a, I, i got a doubt like sir uh, we entered correct username right but we entered wrong password so one uh, one thing is correct here at least uh, please uh, provide some confusion to us and uh, please allow us to log in but still no so whenever we enter proper username and proper password and whenever we click on login then only it will redirect to home page that means we are writing some code here so that is what our business logic or services code or the application developer will do that okay so <coughs> that logic whatever we have we will implement here by using application developer so this application developer that means 
our self we only will do so basically like a dot net relator or java python all the all the things we will use them and we will implement that okay so this application developer the main purpose of this application developer so uh, whenever so see, simple uh, see uh, if i don't write the logic inside this login then whenever i click on login what will happen nothing will happen no action will be uh, done there so that's why that is most important thing in our coding part okay so now people tell me so in this website we have what uh, user interface and uh, application developer thing or business logic we have so now i don't have user interface that means i don't have this login related things so there is no username there is no password there is no login button now people tell me uh, will they able to work with uh, this facebook website so when i open this facebook website then nothing will come or there is no ui at all then people tell me are we guys able to work with that website no no right similarly if i don't maintain proper logic here if i don't maintain proper credentials here uh, then if i click on login then what will happen i am not maintaining proper logic here then what will happen if i enter some abc username and abc password then if i click on login the website will uh, that will uh, move to some some people's uh, home page so that is one way but what will happen so anyone can hack any anyone's website anyone can post uh, post from anyone's website so then what will happen so that is like uh, uh, misguiding things right so in order to avoid that we definitely need to have what proper logic so who is doing that this application developers will do okay and finally see so at the first time whenever we are creating our account so we are entering first name surname mobile number password everything we are entering date of birth everything we are entering there okay so we are entering everything there so after successful uh, after creating our account successfully then what is happening we are able to store our data properly okay so where we are storing the data and who uh, who is the person storing our data okay so i uh, i clicked on registration and registration was uh, registration was showing like successful but i don't know who is storing the values so if the values are not stored then what will happen so if i if i enter something and if i enter uh, something here again so see then what will happen see uh, so when i click on login then simply it will throw the error okay why because the values are not not saved in database not saved somewhere so so if we are not uh, storing our values properly then what will happen whenever uh, uh, we are uh, we are trying to login into the website every time it will ask us to register register for uh, register into that website so now people tell me so uh, every day i'm uh, trying to register my values so every day um, a morning morning time i am trying to enter all my uh, details and after that i'm clicking on registration and it is showing like registration successful but the values are not storing anywhere and uh, the very next day when i'm trying to login into my facebook then what is happening it is asking me to again registration so again i'm trying to register everything but the values are not saving anywhere so now what will happen people will fed up with the things and people will leave the facebook no one will use that right so not only facebook any social networking websites nowadays see we are working in what competitive world okay so fine so uh, so then tell me so uh, who is the person will save the values means this guy database database okay so this is what our database so in our uh, database we will store all the values then what will happen the next time onwards whenever uh, the registration is successful when we enter the username and password then when i click on login then it will go to what home page that is fine so now sir why sir uh, why so we all uh, uh, from morning to evening we always uh, uh, open facebook and we, we always enjoy in facebook so you are explaining uh, uh, the i mean 
so the thing which we know very well that that thing only you are explaining but what is the relation with, between these three okay fine fine so we'll explain why it is and uh, what is the purpose of it okay so then so uh, when when you people uh, so see basically we divided into uh, this development into three things three types one is user interface database application developer okay so uh, we can divide them into three types okay so in world and days when we got the job so then what will happen so uh, our managers or someone uh, they will assign us into team so see uh, on the initial days so when you are a fresher so uh, what will happen so you don't know what is uh, application developer or what is user interface what is uh, database related so whatever your manager uh, boss uh, you go uh, you go there and sit there and you work on uh, so and so things he will tell like that but you don't know what is application developer ui and database okay so then you will start working on it and you, you will uh, learning or you will uh, groom yourself uh, to uh, to get the better outputs and all okay so then what will happen you will work on user interface what is user interface means the ui so we basically we will develop that into with the html okay so this application developer uh, will be like ja core java python like that but in our case we will go for asp.net okay database is sql server okay that is fine so now what is happening so your manager has given you a uh, task to work on asp.net or uh, user interface or database so then uh, you will learn everything after two three years what will happen like so uh, you will learn everything in our asp.net then then uh, something will come in your mind like so why should i work here so i am uh, i am a gem now so i want to go out of the company okay so but what happened like you are the key resource to your project okay so then what will happen so your manager invested so much money uh, for uh, grooming you okay so uh, your uh, uh, company invested so much money uh, for grooming you then what what happened so you trained and you got everything and you learned everything and you are leaving the company now so then what happened so your role is what application developer role previously so now what happened so now your company need one application developer guy after that what happened like so after few days uh, after few days of your resignation your friend also thought like oh my friend is getting more salary why why should uh, i mean why can't i get the salary so he is from ui background he left the company okay then what what will happen again your manager needs to go to market and he needs to search for the right person with all the capabilities and all and uh, what what he should do again he need to train them and uh, he need to groom him and finally once he is fine then what will happen so your manager will take him into the project okay so so for this one uh, fine that is fine now again after a few days one of your other friend again thought like these two person left the company so i am better than uh, these two people uh, but i am staying here with low package why should i st stay here so then he also starts switching so fine now what happened your manager needs to search again he need to go to market and after that what will happen so after few days he will also leave the company okay now people tell me some three new people joined in the team so they need to give kt to them they need to train them and they need to provide everything and they need to waste for uh, uh, they need to train them and they need to waste their money they need to waste their time for uh, some couple of months after that what will happen again these three pe people will also uh, pe people tell me these three people will also uh, stay in that company for li li lifelong or uh, lifetime no so again if someone resigns or something that's why so what will happen so if you people are uh, that much smart enough then why can't you think uh, about your companies they are also will think like smart only so that's why they introduced a concept called full stack development what is that full stack development see what is this full stack development means so a developer will code on asp.net related thing that means application developer and he will work on ui and he will work on database also that means if one person left the company so if we have three people if we are having three members team 
so now how many people can code on uh, see this application development three people and uh, how many people can work on ui three people how many people can work on database three people why because these three people are what full stack developers what is that full stack uh, developers so people can work on what ui people can work on what database people can work on uh, application uh, development like asp.net also so due to this see for example if one person left the team then what will happen so the other person are also having knowledge on this so definitely they can work on it so so now what is happening see previously your manager was training some three people or six people or nine people or 10 people or something like but now three people can hand, handle their work now that is what the advantage of full stack development so nowadays see when you are going for some interview so so the person who is learning dotnet with you okay so the person who is learning dotnet with you they are all your competitors only okay so they are all your competitors only right so now you and your friend went for interview or you and your friend uh, went for some interview so you people are there now see uh, they need the company needs to take only one person from you both so now you people will tell what you people will tell sir my uh, so uh, so like uh, in cinematic way or uh, something you will tell like sir uh, you take my friend uh, he needs the job or something uh, so he is having so many cinema problems so so sir uh, please take him into the job so will you people tell like that okay you are uh, having a very good heart and uh, you told like that after that you went for one more interview and again someone else uh, like uh, some other person who is also your friend came for an interview so your heart is so i mean uh, you are kind hearted and again you gave an opportunity to them so but the third time you will think like so if i am giving job if i am offering everyone like this then why when i will get the job you will uh, start thinking like that and this third time what happened like your childhood your childhood friend and your best friend came for an interview with you now the interviewer will ask the questions and everything now he ask you like uh, so will you sacrifice this time then you will say simply no that is fine that is fine but the thing is so now the interviewer will start thinking who i need to select okay so who i need to select so definitely they need to pick one person from you but uh, they don't know who uh, who is that who is the right person so then he will start comparing your skills with him simple so what is the special in you what is the extra qualification in you uh, to select for this particular job so if you are able to answer that question then you will you will work in that company so the answer for that is the full stack development see in market so many people some people may know only ui some people will know only database some people will know only application development see if they are uh, they are hiring application development see for example if they are hiring for 10 lakhs and for uh, user interface if they are hiring for some 7 lakhs okay some database if they are hiring for 12 lakhs see this is the min numbers only don't think uh, application developers will get uh, more package or ui developers will get less package not like that so it's like just for understanding purpose okay okay so now if you uh, combine this to 22 plus 7 what 29 lakhs so the total okay but if you hire one full stack developer if you give him 10 lakhs package then what is happening to them see this person is getting low package and also he is able to work on what three things now that is why see this companies came with a proposal called full stack development so a developer should do everything so that's where the headache started for us 
okay why because if someone left the company hey, vishwa you know the uh, application development aspd.net related you work on it uh, so you know you are right you work on it. you know database right you work on it. so that's how this came okay so now people tell me see here uh, they are investing 29 lakhs but here they are investing only 10 lakhs with this 10 lakhs he is able to do everything so now people tell me which is better full stack development or normal uh, development okay so then i again came back to our interview so then what will happen so then they will think about uh, what is the things uh, special in you so uh, for hiring you so if you tell them like uh, sir i'm a full stack developer but he is not full stack development he is not into full stack development then obviously he will just think about what full stack developer only he will definitely prefer full stack developer only why because see if you are investing 10 lakhs on him he can work on everything but here what is happening he can work on only ui database people will work on only database and this application developer people will work on only logic part only but this full stack developer can work on what everything so these these are like in our cricket we call all rounders like that so they can bat and they can bowl like that they can code and everything so that's what will happen so now so you, after listening this one you people will if you are a manager you will also think like uh, so full stack developer is better than anyone else why because they can do everything they are like robots and they will work on everything okay okay so now what are uh, different types of full stack developments available in the market so python and our uh, beautiful ui and java full stack and finally what dot net full stack also we have okay fine so what is python full stack and ui full stack java full stack so i don't degrade anything i love all this all these technologies but i will tell what is the little difference okay see python full stack means again you need to learn machine learning artificial intelligence kind of things you need to learn and they are little complex compared to other things okay so you need to uh, learn all this machine learning artificial intelligence and everything okay so this ui this ui development is completely full i mean uh, only web de development related only okay so java so so java like we can implement mobile application console application web application desktop applications and ui applications and finally our beautiful uh, .NET. so here we can implement again mobile applications like see in our mobile uh, some so like whatsapp facebook instagram so all these things they are all mobile applications console applications so uh, we can implement console applications uh, we'll see that what is console application in future so web applications like www.facebook.com whatever the websites whichever the websites available in internet and desktop application so similar to our mobile so we'll have uh, some desktop applications also we can work with that also okay so these are all the different full stack uh, development options available in the market okay now the big question is sir we have four full stack development courses you uh, you only told us so now uh, so we decided to anyway you people decided to go with what full stack development but which one <clears throat> so sir uh, my cousin told me python is trending in the market so then what you will do you will uh, go to that python uh, class and uh, online class and you will learn it and uh, after completion of three months or six months or five months you will complete the course but you will not get the job again your other cousin will tell you so uh, no 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 python is uh, very difficult for us coding uh, go for uh, java so he will tell like that so now you will start thinking okay so java is the better better thing so i will learn java so then what will happen you will uh, again pay the fees and uh, you will uh, start learning the java so after six seven eight months nine months somehow you will complete the java then after uh, completion of java you will realize like see this java is like an ocean 
i'm not getting anything and uh, if i am going to institute so 200 300 people are there in that uh, particular class so uh, if i am joining this online class some 500 600 people are there so you will start thinking like that okay so now what will happen your friend will tell uh, so these are all not good but uh, we have one more course dot net that is very nice then you will start learning what dot net so you successfully wasted your uh, uh, one year time on what this python and uh, java now you start learning uh, you started learning on dot net so see so here the first thing is whatever you learn that may be python or ui java dot net or whatever stick to one technology stick to one course okay so if someone asked me the suggestion sir i completed the dot net uh, dot net course so i did not got the job so i want to learn one more course can you please suggest me then my suggestion to them is dot net only I go and join the dot net course again okay so i will suggest them like that so if if he after six, after three four months if he come to me and if he ask me the same question sir again i completed uh, my dot net course but i did not got the job uh, i'm struggling with that uh, can you suggest me i want to learn one more course can you say again my suggestion will be dot net only okay that means don't uh, learn so many courses so what is the use so you should have confidence so you don't have enough confidence on your previous learning that is why you are trying to change the technology okay see what i suggest to people is completing a course means not attending the vishwasar class for two months or three months or something so you need to learn everything then you consider that course as what completed otherwise so every day i will come at six to seven and i will teach my classes and i will complete the batch and the people will practice everything and after uh, three months what will happen again uh, the new batch will start or uh, uh, the other time will start or other batch will start this is like uh, uh, common uh, i mean common for everyone but what will happen after three months you will attend every day and uh, you will keep yourself on mute okay you will keep yourself on mute and uh, you will sleep after three months you will tell vishnu sir i followed everything but i did not uh, so i attended all the classes for two months or three months but i did not got anything so how we will get it man so so you need to learn everything you need to learn properly everything you need to practice everything so learning means see trust me so follow the class for everything see uh, some other batches we have like 732 to 9 uh, so like asp.net mvc batches are so how we will learn mean see simple follow the class from 6 to 7 every day without fail without even without missing single class the second thing practice everything okay and the third thing so revise the topics at least weekly ones that's it you don't you don't do anything see class for one hour like six to seven and practice for only 30 minutes see in a one one class we will teach mostly three to four programs that's it how much time it will take for practicing three programs four programs half an hour that's it and revise the topics weekly ones for half an hour that's it so almost daily two hours i'm asking simple you do that after three months you don't complete your c sharp but you will learn c sharp for sure okay so and one more thing sir uh, we want to learn something we want to learn some something else so which course sir uh, so many courses are uh, trending in the market okay so then i will suggest i mean i'm a dot net faculty so that's why i am not that's why i'm not suggesting dot net so simple if you go for python so we need to learn machine learning artificial intelligence and they are all very much complex ui full stack means see only html related the javascript related that kind of things only will come okay but java full stack means so see that's what i am telling java is good and dot net is also good but so if you go for uh, java classes some uh, 400 people will be there 300 people will be there 600 people will be there for this dot net see the market is very much good for dot net see i'm working on uh, 
uh, I, I did not mention my company name, but that is confidential. That is still fine. But uh, see, when uh, I'm I'm part of this interviews and all, see, uh, so many times we always go look for good people, but always we never got uh, the excellent people in .NET or something. So we have so much requirement for .NET in the world. The people we have shortage in even in our narrative uh, we used to conduct our exams and all so for trained people so we'll have uh, you people may know right uh, so try uh, we are providing some placements also based upon some exam so <coughs> so when we are writing uh, when we are conducting these exams see uh, still we have so much requirement and uh, for this dot net the shortage is people here okay so See, if you go for this Java interview, 600, if the 600 people completed the Java course and they will, they all will come for an interview. But here you will get 100 people only. So now people see here for one job here, if we have some six positions, so six out of 600 people means one is to six ratio for that means for one job, they are having what? Sorry. Uh, so we have six positions we have 600 people then what is happening here for one job 100 people are the competitors so in our dot net same six positions we have 100 people now tell me what is the what is the competition level here so obviously if you have less competition then there are more chances for getting a job right so that's why I suggest you people for uh, suggest to take the .NET course, okay? And I hope you people are uh, uh, coming here means you are already decided to learn .NET, okay? But so .NET is having you know uh, great feature and you know you know see until this uh, uh, Microsoft Alive .NET won't uh, uh, I mean uh, .NET won't uh, la, I mean lose their lose that business. Why? Because see people tell me. Without, see now you people are attending these zoom calls or something so yeah some people are attending from your uh, personal laptop some people are attending from desktops and all so which ways you people installed in your machine obviously windows so now people tell me so you want to send your resume so which format you are doing ms word so uh, if you want uh, if you want to yeah, i'm telling this class on which one this is notepad so all these things, what MS Office related thing. Now tell me, can we live uh, in this world uh, in, in my system without this MS Office? No, big no. So can I run, um, can I run my operating, uh, operating system this, without Windows? We have other operating system, Linux and all, but still, so which, uh, which one, which one is the preferable? Even see uneducated people. So those people who don't have knowledge also, they can easily run their Windows application. Simply they will click on login and they will log in into their system. That's it. Yes or no? So that's the, uh, that's why see, uh, they are all Microsoft products. Similarly, Microsoft Visual Studio. I mean, our .NET is also our Microsoft product only. So Microsoft, uh, don't leave this .NET. Okay. Okay, fine. So uh, anyone have any questions on full stack development or course content? So tomorrow I will explain what is our course content. Okay. Uh, so, so I introduced myself in the beginning class. So like I'm a Microsoft certified .NET developer. I'm having Microsoft certifications. So this is what uh, I wrote uh, this book on my own. So cshop.net. So this is my own book. So um, we'll use uh, this book for enter .NET learning. So this is only for dedicate. This is our course content. So all these things we will discuss. OK. So all the things, whatever we have in our .NET, we will discuss all these things. So, uh, so I only wrote this book. Okay. Okay. All these topics we will discuss and uh, for tomorrow's class. So uh, course details. See, uh, see, dotnet uh, full stack means what we are going to deal. Programming language, which programs we will uh, we will learn. 
web technologies like asp.net related mvc.net core what is this dotnet core and everything what is this database why this sql server and what is ui technologies and uh, uh, we'll give some real time project on my own uh, so after completion of the course content you people can implement on your own so i will explain this one and uh, <clears throat> so so you people are joining the course but uh, which course you need to learn first and which course you need to go after this c sharp and all so i will just explain uh, the order of the session so uh, where you will go uh, when when you need to join the session channel i will uh, uh, tell that one and after that uh, uh so uh, regarding placement so how you people will do and all uh, so how the people are going with the placements uh, here uh, that i will explain after that uh, so we'll just start with our dot net introduction related things now uh, it's your turn so anyone have any questions on the course content or anything so um so just ping me here so that i will answer to your uh, questions sir yeah please ping please ping please message there in the chat so that i will address you on all these things sorry uh, rahul uh, uh, sorry rajwal uh, so vemula jyoti prakash please yeah uh, see, uh, one second one by one so will you provide this book to us yes uh, i will definitely swaraj so after uh, uh, after some six seven classes when we start our coding then i will provide the book and i will give the running notes everything i will give so i will see i will teach each and every topic in real time only uh, for example if i'm teaching even a single line the, i will explain how we will use that in real time how the fresher uh, uh, needs to work on that particular topic uh, how uh, the other people experienced people needs to handle that everything i will explain for that and yes i will share the book swaraj vemula jyoti so yeah madam tell me what is your doubt so and also uh, how many days class so rajwal cloud so uh, so the class will be uh, for complete c sharp will be uh, it's more two months uh, like that two two months uh, two months 10 days within that i will complete c sharp i don't know about others this is particularly for me i'm saying so uh, reema said what is the duration of this course so i hope you i answered your question so ni will you share your queries as well for practice yes i will give uh, see uh, i almost will give uh, some uh, 200 programs in c sharp so and also see like uh, uh, if we have if i feel if something is important for interview definitely i will uh, share those programs and i i will ask you people to write those programs and uh, uh, in some of the classes uh, uh, we'll have uh, you know uh, uh, lab session chandal here so so that i will help you people fully for the doubts and i will share my number if someone have any doubts or someone is facing some issue with uh, some programming uh, definitely you people can just ping me the screenshot i will help you people in that from the terror okay yeah yeah got it got it right and as next sony is done so rashid sultan so dot net which version we will use so we'll use uh, 2022 okay so this is 2022 visual studio if you people see here so that's that is what uh, currently so if you people able to see visual studio 2022 currently i'm following this for other other batches also sir how how this hi sir uh, this this book available as hard copy i will have, i will share this as a soft copy only if you want to take you can take the xerox uh and one uh, vemula jyoti sir for certification in dotnet what we have to learn sir like c sharp uh, so what we have to hello so uh, madam you can learn uh, you can have dotnet certification uh, so i suggest dotnet mvc certification uh, is the better one so anyway dotnet mvc is part of our course content so if you learn that and you can have that certification so uh, that will uh, that will add more weightage to your profile also okay amit uh, parcha sir uh, are you going to uh, cover c sharp ui and sql uh, sir myself i will teach uh, 
tomorrow i will explain what i will teach and what others will teach so we have ordered uh, there right uh, so there i will explain but anyway answer for your question is i will teach complete c sharp i will teach uh, dot net core uh, asp dot net asp dot net mvc web api uh, and uh, azure related basics and all i will teach so what is the course uh, the, uh, duration is uh, i told i already told it's more it's uh, two months excuse me sir faizanur uh, rahman is turn on his mic so can he sorry sir mute him faizanur rahman is turn on his mic can he turn off this mic faizanur rahman yes new your voice is coming can you mute yourself okay uh, so uh, guys please go on mute otherwise others will uh, Uh, they are facing the, their issues see that's why so we have some 125 people here they all will face the resound and all that's why thank you thank you okay uh, so how much course course fees so please connect with our admin or our uh, uh, naresh it uh, uh, so that they will help you uh, in that fees uh, uh fees based place uh, i mean fees related they will explain okay so mena uh, janal gadda job placement yes we have so after completion of your course we have uh, uh, we have some written test so which we uh, which you, the questions you will get from our class i mean cl uh, classroom training only so you just need to clear that if you are if you get some good marks in that then uh, uh, they will show you some placements also but i uh, tomorrow i will explain how that placement is done so yes it's a full stack development course neladari okay krishna mamsi nadu sir can you please mute all people okay uh, so uh, from tomorrow uh, we'll take care uh, about that one so please mute uh, meet uh, everyone please meet mute uh, go on mute so that uh, see that's what some people are saying sir noise is coming from another student okay so will you guys conduct exam after completion of this course so uh, we don't conduct so see uh, we always have exams those people who ever feel like uh, uh, they are completed with dot net they can uh, write that exam okay so uh, padmaza uh, due to, uh, due time difference i missed today's class sorry madam i did not got it so please ping again Family Jyoti, sir. Uh, for certification in .NET, uh, what we have to learn like C sharp. So I hope I answered right, madam. It's only C sharp course or .NET full stack. Are we done? What happened? Again, it is coming. Okay. Uh, ha hello, sir. Madam, um, please speak. Um, actually, due to um, I'm in US, so I did not realize the time difference. So I missed today's class. Uh, did I, um. Yeah, madam. Uh, no problem. So today we just uh, told the value only from uh, you. Please attend from tomorrow. Okay, thank you. No problem. So please go on mute. Okay. Uh, so we'll quickly go. Uh, so I think the recording will be available. So uh, please connect with the admin team. Okay. uh it is only uh, it is only c# course or .net full stack course it's .net full stack course man uh, pranay so padmaja uh, can you please share a recording so uh, please connect with uh, our admin team so that they will help you so uh, rajwal cloud please share it today uh, we will go through and can uh, can ask question okay uh, rajiv we is this course only c# or full stack .net a uh, full stack .net so uh, sai padma Admitted. So, does this course address all the Microsoft technologies like web, Windows, client, server, application, ASP, Net, and web forms? Yes, madam. Everything. So, uh, Ganesh, uh, what is the course fee? Uh, please check with uh, our uh, admin. So, no. Uh, so, MVC is separate course uh, that is part of this uh, ASP Dot Net only. So, if you learn uh, complete Dot Net course, by uh, by that time uh, you will learn everything and you can uh, have certification on it. Vemla Jyoti. Uh, so, uh, Guru Patnaik. So, yes, we will learn uh, this SQL Server database also. Yes, we will learn. Hello. 
Yeah. So, Swaras, uh, who is that? Mean? So, uh, the person who allowed uh, you uh, into this call, so he is Hari Prasad. So, his number pasted in the chat. So, please uh, uh, check with him. Okay. So, his number uh, is like. Uh, Okay, so hello. Yes. So please. Uh, be here. Are you teach? Uh, are you teach uh, how to working on SQL in this course? Uh, so uh, as part of uh, this course content, SQL uh, SQL is also part of the course. So yeah, uh, that's what I'm telling. So tomorrow I will tell. We will teach what. Okay. 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 Fine. Uh, sir, uh, sir, uh, when new batch started, so today only, madam. So this is today, uh, the batch started today only, Gauri. So Sujata, will you guys help us to install? Yes, I will uh, help you to install the uh, Visual Studio. In one class, I will uh, completely spend time for installation. Sir, is that offline class available or not for CSA? Sorry? Offline class available or not for CSA? Uh, currently, no. So only online class. Okay. Uh, sir, can you describe about fully about how Dartnet is used? Describe. Yes, sir. Uh, I will Rohit Raja. I will. Uh, we will discuss. So this is the first class. So that's why. So we will describe everything. Uh, how that is work. The how that will work in project and everything. Hello, sir. All seven days classes will be there. I mean Monday to Sunday. Uh, Sunday will be holiday. So all other days will be uh, the class will be there. And where will we get the post recordings after the classes? Sorry? Where will we, where will we get the post recording sessions after the classes? Uh, so our Redmin, I will just share his number. So so I hope I answered everyone's question here. So, okay, I hope I answered everyone's question. So yeah. this is our yeah. Redmin number. So, sir, do you, you no, sir, have a query? So do you Hello? give more coding programs in C sharp and more assignment and more exercises? Sorry, do do I need? Tell me. Do you give more coding programs in C sharp? How many so, coding programs? More coding. I want more coding programs and exercise assignments. Yeah, do definitely. Use, so see, we will teach everything in real time only. So that's what I'm saying. We will teach each and every topic in real time only. On interview questions, sir, are you giving? Yeah, I will give. So, uh, see, uh, we have uh, some interview questions related, and these are all my programs uh, which I will deal with. So, uh, and also I have uh, interview questions. So, I will I will give each and everything. So, this is what interview questions related. So, C sharp web API MVC SQL complete for .NET full stack. I will give interview questions. So, whenever I am teaching some uh, topic, that time that time only I will give all the interview questions and all. So that uh, that will be easy for you uh, for you people also. That's why. Yeah, Ganesh, I just gave that uh, uh, um, admin number right, Hari Hari Prasad number. So just take that number and. Uh, so if people got the number, anyone else want the admin number? Uh, hello? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned this course duration is uh, two months, right? Uh, does this include all web API and .NET Core also? No, what is the I'm saying. Okay, okay, got it. Uh, so we can uh, like uh, we can join for the only C course, right? Correct. If I, if I don't want, yeah, yeah, if I don't want .NET Core and web API, can I uh, can I join this issue, of course? Yeah, you can. You can go with that, and uh, uh, please check with uh, Hari Prasad once so yes. that he will help. Okay, okay, got it. Thank okay, you. See, uh, fees related, I don't know anything. Only subject related, I I can help. Only .NET subject related only, I can help you guys. 
So after some days, uh, maybe after one week or ten days, when we start our programming, then I will share my number. If someone is someone need any suggestions from me, uh, someone need uh, any suggestions for interviews or something, then definitely I will help you guys in that. Yes. So yes. Any hello. questions? Any other questions? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, is this uh, by learning this C sharp dot net uh, can we program in VB dot net also, or we need to learn uh, VB dot net separately? So uh, one thing. So first thing. So uh, if you really, uh, if you uh, really need VB dot net, uh, so uh, then you need to learn separately first thing. And the second point is uh, VB is almost outdated. Uh, uh, the third point is whatever uh, whatever the concepts we learn in C sharp, both are same uh, in VB. The difference is only syntaxes. That's it. So rest everything is same. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, in the, I'm working in the Blue Prism tool. Uh, mostly they are using the VB. VB script. VB script. Yeah. VB script they are using. But anyway, uh, so they they can they can use Java there. They can use Dartnet there. They can use VB. Anything is there. But the thing is, everything is same. But the the only difference is syntax. That's it. Rest all the thing, uh, all the things are same. Okay. Okay. Clear. So, yeah. any questions? Yeah, please. I so, sir. Uh, I have one question. I'm sure she gone. Yeah, yeah. Please. Uh, so, actually, as you said, like in, in the class today, like you are going with the ASP.NET. Okay. So, C -sharp. yeah, yeah, C sharp ASP.NET. You are going to with that. Hmm. But I want to know, like, whether we can go with uh, the WPF or we have to make some separate course for it. Uh, uh no no wpf uh, so um, so we will teach uh, c sharp uh, web api okay. um, asp.net mvc mm -hmm. uh, and uh, asp.net dotnet core mm -hmm. uh, web api mvc that's it services we will teach uh, web api so uh, friend, uh, see mvc architecture related and dotnet core related and asp.net and uh, uh, and also uh, in our uh, C sharp, we'll have uh, uh, what is that? Um, Windows uh, applications will be there. Uh, that also I will explain. Okay. Okay. So specifically WPF related, uh, we don't have any. So we don't have here. Okay. That is not part of this course. Okay. Only C sharp, then we can uh, get to know from here, right? No, complete .NET full stack development. Uh, okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Mm. Yeah, hello, sir. Means complete dotted in the sense, how are you going to explain about dotnet core, dotnet framework, ASP.net, ASP.net, Yes. Okay. Right. Yes. 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 Okay. And uh, are so there see, see, that... see, if you join tomorrow's class, then you will understand what all the course content and what we are going to discuss uh, for next couple of months. Everything I will explain in that actually. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah okay. Uh, hello, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Please, Rohit. Uh, if if you want to join only specific C sharp score, C sharp uh, sessions, then we'll be able to join it, or we have to take a whole way, whole stack course. So you want only C sharp dot net? Uh, yes. So if you want dot net, you need to take complete full stack development. If you want to learn only C sharp, only C sharp. Okay. Okay. Yes. Hmm. Thank you. Okay. Fine. Fine. Now, any other questions? So we will also take API integration class. Yeah, we will we will take web API uh, ASP.NET MVC we will take. Okay, so thank you. Okay, fine then. So I hope I answered all your questions. Uh, so guys, uh, uh, please sign tomorrow at 7 uh, a.m. Uh, same session, 6 to 7. Uh, so that uh, we will see what is the course content, what, what all things we will discuss, everything I will explain tomorrow. So okay so uh, fine uh, thanks all for joining we'll meet tomorrow again